is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over the new cards that we have seen that are coming tomorrow at the start of season three in NBA 2K23, my team. Now, I wish I could say this was a video talking about, you know, who the new rewards are going to be, but obviously with the trophy case system, we don't really get new rewards. The rewards are what they are, and it basically is what it is. But so far, we've got three different leaks, and we're going to be going over each and every one of them. We're also going to be dropping a video later tonight talking about our last leak as well. Now, again, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 110 thousand subscribers hit 105 like oh probably a little over a week ago and I, I really do appreciate all of the constant support so let's start off here at the bottom okay obi topping now here's the thing here's the thing about obi topping i don't know much about the card but one thing i will say at 6 9 with a good wingspan i think the card has potential to be pretty solid and, and from what people i mean just kind of how the game is played even on his gold card, he's got an 80 standing dunk and an 85 driving dunk. That's pretty impressive. On a gold card, I mean, what more can you honestly expect? Now, obviously, defensively was not solid. But again, at the power forward position, talk about a hybrid power forward. Who do we really have right now? James Worthy and, and who else? I mean, that's where I really do believe Obi Toppin can, you know, I'm not going to say be that next level of good of James Worthy. I expect him to be a worse version of a guy like James Worthy, and maybe even more athletic, but maybe worse defensively, worse shooting wise. Uh, that's kind of what I'm expecting out of Obi Toppin. I don't think Obi Toppin's going to be bad. He's not a card who I like hate to see or anything like that. He's just not a card I'm going to get like super hype about, like this next card in Rudy. Now you guys can 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 hate me for liking Rudy. One thing I will say is Rudy is always going to have a smooth release in my team. And it's a little different this year. I, I'll be the first to tell you guys. His release isn't the same as it's been in past years. It is a little bit different. But I got to say, it's still smooth, right? I'm, I, again, it's not going to be uh, maybe as smooth, but it's still a smooth release. And if he's got a smooth release, if his player model is still going to be absolutely incredible, and his Sapphire had stats like this, what are we expecting out of his diamond? Even if his diamond stats aren't, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not going to say not good, but even if his diamond stats don't look that great, like even if they look like this card stats, or, or not even, no, nah, I'm not going to say this card, but a little worse version of this card stats, are we not going to hype that card up? I mean, this pink diamond Rudy was literally him and my team for quite some time because he had a smooth release and could play good defense. And what else do you need out of your small forward position? That's my whole thing. As long as your small forward can play good defense and knock down wide open shots, what else are you asking? I mean, is Rudy going to be Tim Thomas? No. Is Rudy going to be like a better version, in my opinion, of a guy like the Pink Diamond Scotty Pippen? Yes. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Is he maybe going to be a little bit different? Sure. But both he and Scottie Pippen are going to have good, easy to time releases. They're both going to play solid defense. Yes, they're going to be a little bit different. Scottie might be more of that primary lock, whereas Rudy might give you that better player model type uh, type vibe. But I mean, we I, I personally feel like you got to look at the cards, not necessarily the same, but like they're going to give you nearly the same thing on the court. Both very solid small forwards in my team. I do want to say, though, if you want to play Rudy at that power forward position as kind of another hybrid type player, I think his player model is going to do that. Rudy always has a really good wingspan. He plays bigger than he probably should. And again, as long as he knocks down shots, what else do you need out of that power forward type position? Is he going to be better than a guy like James Worthy? Probably not. But again, that's because I am I love James Worthy and I'll hype up James Worthy forever and always because James Worthy is just absolutely elite at that power forward position. But I'm pretty high on Rudy. I was last year. The Galaxy Opal Rudy competed in 250 for me. So obviously, I've always been decently high on Rudy cards in my team. And last but certainly not least, Lonzo Ball. Now, I would I would be lying to sit up here and say, I know what Lonzo's going to bring to the table because honestly, I don't. 
Like if we look about the Lonzo's we got last year, we really didn't see Alonzo this early. And by the time we saw Alonzo, I personally liked Lonzo last year. I'm just going to say that. But by the time we saw him, I mean, it just wasn't early anymore in my team. Here's the deal with Lonzo. He's going to be 6'6 at the point guard position. The problem is we've already got guys like Penny Hardaway. And the, and the reason I say problem is, do we really think Lonzo is going to be better than Penny Hardaway? Right? I mean, that that's my whole thing. I love Penny. So maybe you guys can say I'm biased. But do we really think that this Lonzo ball is going to be better than Penny Hardaway? I just don't see that, man. Penny's taller. Penny's movement's probably going to be better. So that's that's where I'm coming from, right? Where I'm like, maybe it's just a little too late to see a guy like Lonzo Ball because we've already seen Magic. We've already seen Penny. Heck, we already got a guy like Gary Payton who might not be as tall as Lonzo, but still going to get busy on the defensive end of the court. Now, one thing I will say about Lonzo Ball that is almost a guarantee is that his defense is going to be off the charts. He might be the best point guard defense player in the entire game when he does come out because even looking at his gold card he had all of these bronze badges that are all defensive so playmaker wise defensively he's going to be absolutely elite absolutely elite we know he's going to get a three ball it really comes down to what does that driving dunk look like which honestly they should make solid i mean his gold card has a what 70 driving dunk that's not bad in his own right so I if they make Lonzo right guys I'm expecting this card to be really 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 good the problem is I don't know if they make Lonzo right and I'm not saying that to be negative I'm just saying how good can they make him when comparing him to a guy if we go to 2k23 like a Penny Hardaway that that's my only hold up now again Lonzo's movement jaw dribble style Kobe size of escape I mean he's got some things going for him I'm just gonna be really intrigued to see how juiced 2k makes Lonzo because if they make him right the potential is there for Lonzo he's got a wide player model defensively he's gonna get the job done it's that simple I mean a lot of people don't like Lonzo when we go to last year's Lonzo ball I love the card was his release the quickest no but I still did like the card Lonzo used to be that guy that got that set shot y'all remember when I think it was what set shot eight that they also uh, that they used to always give Lonzo and I personally hated that but since they've changed that at least last year they changed it I'm about to go shoot around with Lonzo just to make sure he doesn't have that release anymore but ever since they changed it I'm not gonna say it's been necessarily the best release in the game but it's been smooth right I mean this Lonzo didn't necessarily have the quickest release in the game In my opinion, it wasn't the best release in the game, but I would describe the release at least as smooth and usable in my team. That's how I would describe it. Like, yes, when you wanted to compare it to Luka Doncic last year, obviously Luka had the better jump shot, but I'm not going to discredit Lonzo and what he did. So you're looking at a 6'6 guy who you know is going to play great defense. You know, and I'm going to say this, you know, statistically, 2K is going to soup him because how do they not soup a Lonzo ball that looks, you know, like this at 6'6 with these stats on a gold card? I mean, how do you not soup him just that little bit more? That's kind of the, the question mark or the question I'm kind of asking is if this Lonzo looks like this, how do you make a Lonzo as a pink diamond bad? That's that's all I'm trying to figure out. Let's go shoot around with him and just I'm going to shoot around, give you guys my thoughts on his release. Because as long as it's not garbage, the card is going to be good. And and when I look at his release here, the release is solid. I'm not going to say it's the best in the game, but it's not horrible. It's definitely usable. Is it better than Penny Hardaway's 100%? And so that's where I'm talking. I'm like, okay, Lonzo's got a good release. His defense is going to be good. Lonzo might be a top two point guard in the game come tomorrow. Just throwing that out there. Do I think his movement's going to be elite? I don't know. But I guess we'll see come tomorrow. I think Lonzo Ball is going to be absolutely incredible. Super high on Lonzo Ball as we get into it, guys. Pretty high on Rudy. Not super high on Obi Toppin. Just going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully, each of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.